Om Shanti and welcome back. We are doing the recording of 6th of January. It's called Liberation. Time is flying, right? So today also is the 6th of January. Six days have already passed away, and we have to understand that the past, the present, and the future, everything has to be taken in consideration, so that we don't take any sorrow in our life. And that is the complete crux of today's blessing. That is the foundation of today's blessing. So let's go ahead. Let's explore this beautiful foundation. Let's dig into it. God says, "May you be a spinner of the discus of self-realization." You must have seen a disc on the finger of the divine beings or the deities, right? So that disc is a symbol of not cutting somebody's head. They were not violent. Deities can never be violent. So that symbol is a symbol, actually, of knowing our past births, present what we are supposed to do, and knowing what is going to happen in the future. So that's why God says, "May you be a spinner of the discus of self-realization, and remain constantly free from any spinning of sorrow." That means once you know the complete drama of your acting in this drama and the drama's plan, past, present, and the future, you'll know what to do, how to do, how to behave, what to experience, and what to expect from the future. And so you'll be ready. You'll be ready actually. and free others too from that sorrow let's get into the details when some children are influenced by their physical senses physical senses and they say today my eyes my mouth or my vision deceived me that means i saw something evil i saw something dirty i saw something impure or i saw some bad habits in somebody or i i observed or i heard something bad about someone or i heard an evil news or i heard a negative news that means you have been deceived then to be deceived in this way means to experience sorrow it's like you are allowing a virus to enter your software that is you the soul imagine you the mind which is a software you the intellect which is a software a deeper software and you the sanskars which are the deepest software the motherboard <laughs> your motherboard is getting virus affected or virus infected so these are the different organs through which you can actually take in information whether that information has got virus evil things evil thoughts evil visions evil seeing and evil hearing or evil talking all those things can be a virus into your mind and they can enter and infect it and then create sorrow in your life so god says people of the world say i didn't want it to happen but i got caught in that spin i didn't want to hear something about what that person is saying about him or her but i got into the spin and now i cannot get rid of it somebody said something like that about that person he said something about the boss i just heard it oh my god there's some form of politics going on in my family or politics going on in my job scenario or in the business i heard something and god says yes a virus just entered and that became the reason for sorrow so god then says the children who are spinners of the discus of self realization can never be caught in a spin web of deception that means they'll be least bothered about those things they'll be focused only on only on themselves what they're supposed to do in that scenario how to work what to do what kind of work they have been given they will be focused on that and they leave the politics they leave everything else around they won't be focused on what somebody is saying or someone else because if you hear something evil then the evil is going to attract more evil in your life tomorrow that person might talk about you they are the ones who remain free from any spinning of sorrow and they free others too so they are not concerned they are not spinning the complete cow web of those thoughts every day they don't come back home they don't tell their husband or wife about it or the colleagues about it you know what happened in the office today no they don't say all these things they are the masters who make all their physical senses work under them that means they are in control of their ears eyes mouth and other senses and they know what to take in and what not to take in so they have got some form of a subtle let's say doorman standing here standing here standing here and another senses and they know what to allow and what not to allow so they reject 
something which is not theirs it's like a post office some wrong mail comes in a city is supposed to be of the adjacent city automatically they'll say no 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 don't bring it over here it's going to get great confusion you send it back so that's what god says don't take sorrow don't hear evil don't see evil don't talk evil don't feel evil so that you don't take sorrow in your life and what should you do spin the discus of self realization that means be busy in understanding and realizing what you were and what you're supposed to do right now so that your future is better and all that has been taught in brahma kumaris on a daily basis you can come and learn and learn to spin the discus of self realization it's not a physical discus which you'll be spinning around with your hand it's something which you do in your mind with this om shanti